let's take a look at the difference stroke width can make. Stroke width is just what QGIS calls line width in symbology. So I will turn on the layer styling panel and I will make sure I've got the layer selected. I'm in symbology and I'm going to click on the drop down for symbol to configure the symbol. I'll hit simple fill and then I can see the stroke color is black and the stroke width is 0 0.26. I think for me in these situations, 0 0.26 is too thick. So let's take it down to 0 0.15. So straight away, less visual clutter, less visually dominant, but I still think that's probably too thick. So I'll try 0 0.1. So to my mind, that's definitely better. I usually think using a dark color here is not great. So let me see what it looks like when I change the stroke color to white. Okay, so that's a little bit wild in terms of some areas you can't really see them because it's too close to the fill color. Uh, in this case, what I would probably do is the previous color was probably okay. I might just take it down even further to 0 0.05 and see how that looks. So that's probably a bit too thin. Let's leave it right now at 0 0.1. And the good thing is if you're using the layer styling panel, you do have the little history section. So if I look at it like what, it's, what it is now, but I click to the first one, we can see the difference. It's subtle, but it's, it's important. If I was to change the color ramp to say this palette and then go to configure symbol, simple fill, and I'll change the stroke width to 0 0.1 and the color to white, you can see how something like that with a white stroke is better. So compare this pattern here to some of the earlier ones and you'll see what I mean. So take some time when you're making maps to look at the details of things like stroke width and just change them a little bit. It can make a big difference in your maps.